Hey guys, this is Reggie the Gamer. Welcome to today's episode. Hey guys, as you see in the title, this is indeed the Ultimate Swords add-on for Minecraft Bedrock Edition, I, I guess. I mean, it's, it's pretty much Bedrock Edition, I, I guess that's what you can call it, because it, it's going to get confusing between, you know, Minecraft Java, which is still called Minecraft, and Minecraft Bedrock Edition. It's, it's weird. But it's okay. Let me turn on plutonium mode. I actually, I, I, I didn't know I had that all. Uh, come on, 70. Boom, there we go. Alright. So, yeah. Ultimate Swords add-on. It, it was actually by the same guy that, uh, made the Undying add-on. So, yeah. Good job to you, dude. I actually like these kinds of add-ons because it makes swords, but it also, like, doesn't remove the past sword so yeah i like these kind of add-ons where it doesn't remove anything in it well it kind of removes some things but it doesn't remove like the, the things that uh that you usually use you know like i mean it, it, this stuff it, it kind of replaces so but it's okay you know it, it's better to have this than nothing at all right anywho let me go ahead and start showing off this add-on so First sword I am going to be showing you guys is the Bone Sword. Is that what it's called? I'm pretty sure that's what it calls. Yep, it is called the Bone Sword, and it replaces the Bone. So if you guys want bones, then um, instead of getting bones, you're probably gonna get Bone Swords. But uh, yeah, this thing does four attack damage, and uh, it gives you speed. I'm, all these swords give you speed. I think I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah, and some do more like things than others so here is the bone sword it gives you speed and all that you know you got your speed and it's, it's pretty much just the better version of a wooden sword so go ahead and test it on the pigman there we go he died uh, pretty much as quick as a wooden sword so you know, let's get a wooden sword um there we go also grab one of these guys so we can spawn another one and one two three four five Alright, how much was this one? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it might be three. I think the site was lying to me. It might be three, but I don't know. This guy, you know, he's trying, but hey, at least it's a sword, right? You know, you, it's pretty much just a good version of the wooden sword. So, there you go, there's your bone sword. And if you want to know where to find it, go into items, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, where would it be? <laughs> I don't know, I just searched this stuff off, not gonna lie. Uh, but it should be an item somewhere. If you don't, if you don't know where to find it in items, or bones in items, just search up bone, and, you know, you got that. So, there you go, there's that. Um, now it's time to show off the coal sword. It replaces a stick, and, uh, yeah, so now instead of getting sticks, they're gonna get swords. Coal swords, right? Hold on, if I get, like, uh, a piece of wood, uh, craft it into some sticks, yep, you'll get four coal swords, yeah, super easy to craft, instead of, you know, trying to get wood and all that, you'll have coal swords, so let's go ahead and let's test this out, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, so, again, might be three attack damage, actually, we can test this, with the wooden axe. So we got ourselves a wooden axe here. Let's test this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so these actually are three attack damage. But I mean, hey, still, you'll you'll get swords pretty easy, you know. It's not as hard as it was before. So let so if you don't know where to find sticks or coal sword, uh you just go into items and it is the first thing there. So there you go coal sword for you guys all right so moving on to the next sword it is called the thunder sword now this replaces a fishing rod and when you right click or hold on the screen you can it has a something percent chance of spawning in a thunderbolt and it is just really really cool actually i'm pretty sure it's just when it touches the ground like as soon as it touches the ground it'll spawn in a thunderbolt so yeah there we go boom Thunder Sword for you guys. It does five attack damage, I think. Maybe it's four. Let's test this out. So if we get a wooden sword and a stone sword, just so we can test this, we gotta we gotta you do a proper test. So 
here's what it is like with a wooden sword. Five uh, hits. So, let's see if this will do five hits. One, two, three, four. Four. Okay, and then stone sword. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it this actually does do um, five attack damage. The coal sword and uh, which one call it? The coal sword and the bone sword do uh, which one call it? They do three attack damage. So don't. So when you go into the site, but don't think that they actually do four attack damage. They actually do three. So there you go. That's a bit of a fact for you. Get us. You know, get some lightning bolts up in here. It's really cool. I like this sword. It's a, it's a nice like uh, power sword. So better version of the uh, which we call it? stone sword. So and if you just want to craft it uh, and you don't know how to craft a fishing rod, it's I mean it's simple. You just gotta we get a, a crafting table. Uh, boom. And all you need is sticks. Yeah. Sticks. Oh, right. There's no sticks. There's no proper sticks. Uh, we're gonna have to get coal swords. Um, yeah, so you're gonna have to get a coal sword before you get, uh, your, uh, thunder sword. So, you get your so said coal sword, and then you get some string. String of string. Uh, you only need, uh, two string. Boom. There we go. Uh, so. Then, what we gotta do, go to the crafting table, place your sticks, or coal swords like that, then your string, and bada bing, bada boom, you have your thunder sword. So, yeah, that's how you get your thunder sword if you wanted it in, uh, survival. Um, to get it in creative, though, all you gotta do is go to the equipment tab, and it is right here. So, there you go, thunder sword. Now, we're gonna go to the creeper sword. Now, this, uh... Creeper sword, it's pretty much the undying sword, uh, or it reminds me a lot of the undying sword, probably because it is pretty much the undying sword itself, but, um, yeah, it's just in a different thing, anywho, so let me talk about this creeper sword for a second, you actually, I think you shake when you have it, no, nah. okay, uh, anyway, so, the creeper sword does 8 attack damage, so said, um, uh, we can't really test that, so we're gonna, Actually, you know what? Let's get a diamond sword and probably test it like that. I mean, I would have to do all the enchantments and stuff if I wanted to fully test this. So, um, let's go ahead and test this. Also, you can shoot it just like the undying sword with creeper dust. And, uh, I would teach you how to get these things after we test this out. So, here's the creeper sword. Um, let's just get a zombie pig and spawn egg. So, we're gonna kill this one with the diamond sword. One, two, three. Okay, three hits. One, Two, three. Okay, that's also through here. So, I don't know if that's actually because, like, it has, like, a little bit more health left. But, you know, it's that. So, there you go. I, I'm pretty sure it's either a better version of a diamond sword. Well, it's a better version of a diamond sword either way. But, to get this creeper sword, it replaces the, uh, the, whatchamacallit. What do these replace? Bow, right. So, if you don't know how to make a bow, which you definitely should know how to make a bow. If you don't know how to bow, make a bow, I don't know what you're doing with your life. But, actually, hold on. Let's test out the shooting version. Yeah, exactly like the undying add-on. Does it shoot explosives? It does. Okay, so this also shoots explosives. So, this is a really good sword if you, you know, want to use it for your, like, survival world. And you don't want, you know, like, achievements. You don't really care about your achievements. You got them all, you just don't want any. You can just, uh, turn on this add-on, get the resource and begin compaction, you know, start shooting trees and creepers and all that sort of stuff, and slicing up some mobs, because this is also a sword as well. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and let me show you how you, uh, how you, what, hold, hold up, how to get this sword and survival and creative. So, you don't know how to craft a bow, I'm just gonna show you really quick, let's just get a crafting table. Uh, boom, 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 um, ah, okay, and then we have to go, and, uh, let's put that right there, now we'll just plop this down here, we'll get some sticks, nope, coal ore, I mean, not coal ore, coal sword, there you go, you got your coal sword, also you're gonna have 
five, no, four cold swords when you craft them with sticks. So, you'll be pretty darn good, not gonna lie. So, anyway, most of these don't break, which is a good thing. Well, except for the creeper sword when you shoot, because it's a bow in disguise. So, yeah. Anywho, let me go ahead and show you how to make this. So, we... Hold up. What are we on? Right. Creeper sword. So I'm gonna need a little bit, nope, I'm gonna need, like, two more of these, and some string, again, yeah, so you're gonna have to start, it's easy to get the cold sword, and it, I guess it pretty much just gets harder ev after a little bit, so, you put your cold swords like this, and then your, uh, string like this, and bada boom, bada boom, you got your creeper sword. It's very weird crafting these things and turning it out like a this, but, yeah, it's okay. Doesn't matter, you got your creeper sword just like that. Oh, um, let's go ahead, let's get the last thing going, which is the fire sword, right? Yep, fire sword, and this does 14 attack damage, so say, maybe 13, but 14, 13, doesn't matter, if this thing kills that in like 2 or 1 hit, better than a dive sword, better than a creeper sword, so, this replaces a blaze rod, so you can't really get this one in survival unless you're going to the nether, and look at me, I'm shaking, I'm shaking, oh gosh, tweaking out man, oh my gosh, okay, well that's that, but um, yeah, this is, uh, my favorite sword, not gonna lie. It does the most attack damage and gives you one special, well, like, two special effects, right? Uh, one's the speed, yeah. And if we go into game mode, zero, it also gives us fire resistance. So we can just walk straight through fire like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. Like, also you can do this with lava, but, you know, I just didn't want to get the lava set up. I just wanted to do it like this. So... Yeah, this thing is pretty darn cool. All you gotta do to get this in survival is go to the nether and kill some blazes. Not too hard. It is kind of hard, but I mean, the nether's a dangerous place. So, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend going there as a, as a P, especially if you only have, like, a wooden sword or something, just to get a flipping blaze sword, or fire sword. But, um, yeah, let me go ahead and actually test this out. Let me take this back. I need this. Let's go ahead and walk through the fire like a boss. And one, two, two hits. It's better than a diamond sword. Better than the creeper sword. So, um, yeah, it's kind of worth going to the nether to get this thing. Not gonna lie. Um, so, yeah. Also, let me show you how you can get this thing in creative mode. Uh, so, all you gotta do, if you don't want to search it up, you go to here. You scroll down a little bit, and there you go, there's the fire sword. Um, so, yeah, that is it for the ultimate sword add-on. If you guys do want this, link in, in the description to uh, the uh, download if you guys want this. I'm pretty sure you guys do. They're like, I love these kind of add-ons, like, especially ones where it gives you extra things that you can use in survival, like actual useful things. Like, I know, cars, useful, I guess, but not really, I mean... Planes, okay. Helicopters, I mean, what? It is a, a jetpack that moves really slow. I, I wouldn't. I'm just naming things that I've seen on MCPDL before, or that I've just seen all the other YouTubers do. But um, yeah, if you guys do want this add-on, which I'm pretty sure you do, go ahead and get it for yourself so you can play around with some ultimate swords. But um, yeah, if you guys did enjoy. Go ahead and slap that like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel because it really helps the channel out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.